what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we are back again with another what if series and that is what if Asta was evil remake I did make a what if Asta series back in the past and back here again doing the remake a new plot line a new story a new elements in the story and I can't wait to share with you in this video right now but before we start the story and the what if playlist and the what if series of this new series make sure you subscribe turn the bell notification you never miss a video my name is Zoids I do anime related content on this channel if you like that make sure you follow them steps like I said before subscribe like and turn the bell notification you never miss a juicy juicy video on this channel so let's get straight on the what if because i don't want to waste your time right now it was a long weary night with the sound of thunder splashing the treetops in harsh village rain crashing on rooftop then there was a loud faint crying on the church's doorstep the pope who owns small scruffy church wakes up in the cry from the crying outside his doorstep he opens the door and looks down and sees two baby boys on the floor. The Pope picks up the two babies and brings them inside. Then he looks at the clothing from the two kids and one of the kids has a noble looking name on his chest. It reads you know and the other kid didn't have a noble looking name writing on his chest and it reads Aster. The Pope decides to take these kids into the home. So that's the prologue right there. 15 years later, from the day Asta and Yuna have finally grown up to capable age to get their very own grandma. But before they go to the annual grandma acceptance incendiary, Asta needs to do something important. Asta runs to Sister Lily and asks her out once again after 456 times when he first saw Sister Lily arriving to Harsh Lives to assist Father Martin with the kids. Then Sister Lily rejects Asta but Asta doesn't give up and keeps trying but Sister Lily got very annoyed and hits Asta with her fist of lover water based attack. Then Yuno comes walking around the corner and he says Asta, you need to give up by asking Sister Lily out. You're absolutely stupid with the brain of yours because Sister Lily is a numb and she can't marry anyone, especially if she wasn't a numb. Why would anyone marry you when you have no magical power and it will affect your kids in the future when they have no magic and they get discriminated in the future? Sister Lily stopped it. You knew. Don't you ever say that to Asta ever again. You knew said, stop it, Sister Lily. There was no point in defending him. He is a disgrace of humankind. Then Asta jumps up to match Yuno's hide and punches Yuno in the face. He gets knocked down on the ground like you ever become the wizard king. Runs and runs to the demon skull. Asta arrives at the demon skull. I absolutely hate that jerk. Why does it have to be so mean to me? And I don't know the reason because I don't have any magical abilities or any trace of mana in my body. Then a little anti-magic bird flies down and sits on the rock behind and transforms into a young woman with a little black dress. Asta turns around and shocks from a bird that turned into the bird and said, Hello Asta, it's finally nice to meet you and my name is Nero. Asta was shocked from this random bird that turned into a human and how do you know my name? Nero. Nero said, I've been watching you very long time since you ended up to the church and I want to tell you, you got a hidden and magical ability and also, and I want to know the true history about the wizard king defeated the demon in the village. That is the demon skull that is left in your village. First, let's talk about the ancient tale of the wizard king defeated the demon that the demon skull has been left in your village. So the demon that was the ancient demon that had ability to erase any magic and magic life from round magical beings that was huge task for the first wizard king to handle but he used his final magical tag called light magic swords of judgment to one slice the demon in half but the demon was never truly defeated we don't know where the demon is at now so let's talk about the hidden ability of yours so i believe that you will gain a similar ability as the demon but you can do promise me that you will use it for good not evil but you can't use the ability yet because you need a grimoire to unlock the spells use the magical ability 
So I'm giving you this Grimor to you. That is the very ancient Grimor that used to belong to the elf leader that used to be close friends to the first Wizard King. Aster was shocked and excited that he got handed a Grimoire and he pulls out a massive sword. Then Nira said this is the called the Demon Slayer sword that can slay any magical attacks and hit them back to them. The other two swords you have in the Grimoire, they called the Demon Dweller Sword and the Demon De Destroyer Sword. The Demon Dweller Sword is can borrow magical powers from any type of magician or magical being that is alive. And the Demon Destroyer Sword can bow is erasing any curse you get hit by or cursed on. But it can't be effective without Demon Curses because they can't erase that ability. So, a few minutes later, you know and everyone else went few minutes later you know and everyone went to the grimoire Central without asta finally got their grimoires and owner of the grimoire tower asked are we missing anyone from harsh village and who is outside to get your grimoire you know said we have everyone here but we don't have asta there's no point of him coming here if he has no magical abilities and everyone starts laughing from you know from saying that the grimoire owner said Right, you know, why do you think that Asta won't get a Grimoire? Because he has no magic? But he does have a Grimoire. A special woman is taken to him right now. Given a special Grimoire that no one can get except from him. You know, said, what special Grimoire? There is only four types of Grimoire. That is, the fourth one is about love and manner. The Grimoire owner said, you better watch out from Asta. He has a surprise from all of you. But enough of the chitter chat, let's get our Grimoires. Grimoire starts coming out of the bookshelves and starts floor flooring towards people. There was a bright shining coming from Yuno. The fourth D Grimoire chose Yuno to lead its place and everyone was shocked. See something amazing and a dark shadow figure said things will be interesting after this ceremony. After the Grimoire summary was over, Yuna walks out the summary tower and starts talking shit about the Tower Pope. About how Asta will gain even greater power than himself after achieving a fourth leaf Grimoire. Then the dark shadowy figure appears from the channel and uses his chain magic to seal Yuna and the whole body. Then he picks up his Grimoire. Ki 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 ki. I never knew a place where such lonely poor village had a young that male that was loved by Mana. To achieve such rare grimoire, Yuno shouted to who the fuck are you? And the dark figure said, my name is Revdy, I'm the grimoire bounty hunter that was kicked out of the Clover Kingdom Magic Knight because of my traitor captain. But who cares? I am going to steal your grimoire, steal your grimoire and kill you right here. Then Asta shows out of nowhere and uses his demon slayer sword to knock out Revdy towards a old broken runes. And Yuna released by Asta cutting his chain magic from the Demon Slayer and hey punk, are you fighting me now, right now? A few minutes later, while Nero explained the tale of the Demon Skull, giving the Grimoire and telling everything about the Grimoire, Asta heard Yuna being chained up far away by a rattling sound of waves coming from the ground. As I said here, sorry, I need to go. I can't wait to see you again. But my friend from the same orphanage village is in trouble. Then Revji gets back up. Start laughing. How is it excited? You get hit by a massive sword that doesn't have any magic because the user haven't any magic powers. Then Revji starts sprinting in, sprinting towards Yuno and Asta, but Yuno uses wind magic to Rev G back into the room, but Rev G keeps back getting back up, then he uses the six daggers of chains spell to knock out Asta and Yuno, then Asta wakes up into a black red voice, and there was a massive black shadow figure behind Asta and says, hello Asta, it's finally nice to meet you, Asta said, who the fuck are you, and the demon said everyone knows about me i'm the demon who destroyed and killed the first winter king and your village and asa said what the fuck you are that demon who destroyed the entire life but why are you inside this grimoire because of the wizard king slice up the barbecue chicken ring i will tell you the true backstory of me being defeated by the wizard king but Gaining something victory over that Nero or the first wizard king didn't destroy. Then the first wizard king was meeting up to his sister's wedding for his sister to get married to the elf leader. That was the demon was created, but I was in control. I used trap magic spells that I placed around 
the village. Wow, control it, the magic knight who was trapped magic and killed every single soul, but I kept the wizard king and Nero and the elf leavers alive. So Nero and the wizard king can notice that the scene I caused so much to their hearts and killed everyone and turned the elf leader that the will wizard king killed but he was sliced up the body of nero came flying towards me and i tried to sell me away but he collapsed in front of me so i raised her memories and i was being there sealed myself grimoire from using nero magic abilities that affect my magic into the grimoire Asta has no words from the story that but he tried to fight the demon in the void looking thing but the demon had the upper hand and Asta but the demon said do you want to know something about you know Asta? Asta said what does you know need to be do with you? What have you know done now? The demon pulled out the demon destroyer sword and said Asta Nero didn't explain the spell to you. But this sword can see through people's memories instead of using it from the curse. But he places the sword at Asta's heart, starts showing members of the, you know, talking shit about him, how the whole village wants to kill him because he's a disgrace of mankind. Then Asta falls into despair and Demon said, Asta, there is no, there is one thing you need to do is kill everyone in this village. Asta agrees to the demon wish. The present day, a black lightning struck and a black ball said comes down with fangs and two wings, black marks everywhere around his body and starts saying he will kill everyone in the village. And you know was shocked by Asta gaining such a terrible frightening power from a manless boy. Then Asta zooms across the battlefield area and slashes Revity in half. But Asta turned around and Revy blocked it. Asta attacked the chain's magic, but Revy didn't know Asta's power is anti-magic, so the magic attack is meaningless. Then Revity chains fell into pieces, and the demon said, "Point your sword towards Revity and stab him through your sword." Asta zooms across the battlefield again, area, and again. He didn't miss Revity this time and stabbed him through the chest. Then he cut to Yuno. Know. Yuno know was absolutely shocked by how Asta managed to get hold into a demonic power then he when he doesn't have any magical power but he slowly walks back to the village but he steps onto a small piece of rock Asta turns his head towards the Yuno after he was drinking breath deep blood and eating his body part and says to Yuno hello Yuno my name is Libe I am the keeper of this body and I was taking control of Asta's body I made one thing clear Asta thinks and believes that you and everyone wants to kill him in the village but actually the one thing that is really true that you are the only one who wants to kill him then the demon pulls the sword out of the dirt and throws Revity Boy towards a fallen runes and zooms across the battlefield where Yuno was standing then Asta attacks Yuno created a massive earthquake that shaked the whole island. We cut to the Clover Kingdom where Julius Yami and the other magic knights were doing their meeting about escaping from the royal capital prison. A grim old bounty hunter escaped yesterday. We haven't found him yet in the royal city. Then a massive earthquake hits the Clover Kingdom from the whole kingdom starts shaking. The whole building and food stands start falling over. Then Julius commands all the magic knights to help everyone in the Clover Kingdom right now. Then we cut back into the Hodge village and all the villagers run to an exp explosion site when the explosion happened. When all the smoke and gas cleared up, the villagers saw a deadly body with missing body parts near the ruins. And there was two bodies in the middle of the explosion and that was Asa and Yunu. Then the church finally rushes over to Yuno Asta, but it was too late to save Yuno's life. From the massive cut around his stomach, but Yuno said from his dying last breath, this is all Asta's fault. Then his body stopped working and eventually died. Nero watches the whole fight with Asta. Yuno revved you from the far distance from the demon skull. This is urgent. I need to report this wizard king right now. Asta wakes up into a black, dark room. And when he tried to get, try to get up on his feet, he was forced by a rattling sound of chains that stopped him from getting up and walked free. Then he looks around the room he, he is in and saw lots of metal poles in the blocking him inside of the room. 
then he sees two people standing outside the cell and says hello Asa do you want to join the magic knight and become the wizard king so that is part one of the what if Asta was evil remake series if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this series and enjoyed part one if you want a part two make sure you smash the like button and comment down below if you want a part two and my name is Zoid if you like this type of content make sure you subscribe like this video turn the bell notification never miss a new video i'll see you in the next video peace out guys uh, shorty, Romy, smooth,